Okay, so bird physical exam, we start from the head and we move to the tail. This bird is sedated with butorphanol and midazolam. So we start with the eyes and we look at eyelid turgor to evaluate for hydration status. We take a look at the cornea, the anterior chamber, and the lens, which all look clear. Then we take a look at the ears. That also is nice and clear. The nares, clear here, clear here. Then the other side, we do the same thing. Pull up on the eyelid, look for turgor. And we also take a look at the ears there. Next, we take a look at the fundic exam. And we want to see an avascular retina and a pectin. Looks good, other side. Take a look in the mouth. The bigger the bird, the bigger the instrument that you need to look in their mouth. This bird is pretty little, so we can take a look with paper clips. And open, say ah, ah. So then we can look at the coanal papillae and evaluate for any masses or ulcerations. There go. Then from there, we move down. We palpate for the crop, palpate the neck, make sure there are no masses, no food in the crop. Then we take a listen to the heart, and we listen on one side of the keel. Then we listen on the other side of the keel, and we get a rate. Then we listen to the air sacs down below the keel. And then we listen to the lungs right in between the wings. Okay? Then from there, we move on to evaluate the wings and hydration. So we take out one wing, we wet over the elbow. We visualize the ulnar vein, which is pretty small in this patient. We're a little dehydrated. And then we kind of just tug on the ulnar vein and we look for refill. Then we palpate the wing all the way down, take a look at the feathers. You can appreciate the feather destruction in this bird. And then you can also see there's a blood feather present. Then after palpation of the one wing, then we take the other wing. So we pull out at the elbow, palpate the humerus, radius and ulna, and down the digits. And you can again appreciate all of the feather destruction and then another blood feather here. Then we palpate the sides of the body, get body condition. You can appreciate in this bird, this bird is a seven out of nine. And then we'll go down and palpate the coelom. and the pubic bones live right near the vent. Then either side we come up, palpate the spine, palpate the hips, and palpate all the way down the legs. And then we'll look at the feet. And this bird has evidence of pododermatitis. So this is getting close to a grade three out of five. I'll switch you. And we'll look at the other foot. And this one also has pretty significant pododermatitis. Then from there, we'll take a look at the vent. And we want to evaluate for any masses. So we take a lubed cotton tipped applicator into the vent, and then we slowly take it out and evaluate the mucosa. All of that is pink, no masses. And then we'll just wipe that little bit of feces away. Then we'll look at the uropygial gland. So we come right at the base of the tail, fold the feathers up, and then you can appreciate the little tuft of feathers right here. And that is our uropygial gland. And that is a complete exam on acetosine.